where has all the science gone? Key opinion leaders and health experts are erroneously interpreting diminished pathogenicity as an indication that the virus is transitioning into endemicity. They do not understand that in the absence of herd immunity, reduced pathogenicity is inextricably linked to enhanced immune selection pressure on viral virulence and therefore preparing the virus to lift the immune blockade on severe COVID-19 disease. Massive exercises in mutational stamp collection combined with ad hoc interpretations of epidemiological, biological and clinical data have prevented scientists from seeing the forest for the trees and are the biggest obstacle for them to understand the disastrous consequences of this mass vaccination experiment. Their mutational analysis and predictive epidemiological models merely reflect snapshots and don't consider the immunological dynamics that are driving natural adaptation of the virus. Although scientists seem to agree that spike-associated viral mutations are driven by population-level immune selection pressure, none of them dares to mention that mass vaccination and subsequent booster immunizations caused populations to exert large-scale immune selection pressure on the virus. This raises the question as to why no one seems to bother about investigating the origin of this large-scale immune selection pressure placed on the virus. While our experts desperately tried sharing us up with claims that mRNA vaccination and vaccine breakthrough infections protect against severe COVID-19 disease, they seem to ignore that both prevent or even abrogate training of the cell-based innate immune system and promote viral immune escape. Not understanding that Omicron-adapted booster doses only expedite immune escape and fail to prime new neutralizing antibodies towards the updated vaccinal spike sequence is one of the most blatant examples of immunological illiteracy. Unlike updated vaccine boosters, vaccine breakthrough infections caused by highly infectious Omicron descendants, for example the XBB subvariants, fail to prime new functional antibodies and even prevent recall of previously vaccine-primed neutralizing antibodies. So the question even is, where have all the scientists gone? Neither health experts nor scientists seem to understand how enhanced susceptibility to Omicron infection can be reconciled with prevention against severe COVID-19 disease in vaccinees whose antibodies no longer possess sufficient neutralizing capacity. I know of no other scientists who are considering the risk of this virus evolving a major shift, transforming it into a highly virulent variant that poses a serious threat to highly COVID-19 vaccinated populations. Regardless of their astonishing lack of understanding and insight, many scientists continue to blindly endorse the proposal of incompetent public health experts and authorities to continue the mass vaccination experiment with mRNA-based vaccines and to even recommend use of these vaccines for other diseases. This news is sobering, but I have no choice. I have to share it because we have a passion for the truth and we believe that the truth will prevail.